what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be taking the batch file I created previously and we'll be modifying that directly. So this time round I will not be using the CWR sync wizard. Some of you, especially if you've used RCWR sync or R sync before um, the wizard came into being, uh, might be familiar with this method. What I'm going to do here is, number one, I am going to reduce the amount of information returned by the rsync utility. I'm going to do that by removing um, two of the three verbose parameters. What I'm also going to do is I am going to modify the copy so that source there, the directory itself, is not copied, but the contents of source there are replicated to the destination there or destination directory. I do that by appending a slash to the after source there. As you can see now. Now, having done that, I save and I'll run the command. The documentation you see on the screen is actual utility documentation. So if you want to um, use the command line or explore further options, all you have to do is read to the files um, that came with the CWI thing. The problem we had with uh, directed permissions still exists in this case. 